Hey everyone, Dr. Dave with Triad Health Center. I have many patients that walk into my clinic with a severe pain in their lower back that radiates down into their legs and into their feet. And this is a common but debilitating condition called sciatica or the sciatic nerve syndrome. Now everybody has a sciatic nerve, it's just when the sciatic nerve gets pinched that it can cause pain in your lower back and that pain will radiate either to behind your knee or all the way down into your feet but it can cause more than just pain. It can cause numbness, tingling. It can even cause weakness in your muscles, starting off as a condition that's only painful to then becoming debilitating and a chronic condition. And so when you look at the sciatic nerve, the sciatic nerve is actually a bundle of nerves that exit from the spine. And specifically, we're looking at the lumbar to sacral area the L3 nerve roots to the S3 nerve roots. And as these exit the spine, they'll form a bundle that travels down into your legs. Now there's several ways that you can pinch this nerve. Number one being a spinal misalignment. And so if your spine shifts out of alignment called a vertebral subluxation, it can put pressure and inflammation on that nerve root that then travels down the sciatic nerve pathway. The other way is that you can actually have a herniated or a bulging disc in the lower back and that can create a stenosis or a narrowing of the spinal canal and again that can put pressure on the sciatic nerve. Thirdly, there is a muscle called the piriformis muscle and it sits pretty much right in the middle of your glutes and if that muscle becomes pinched, it can actually inflame the sciatic nerve as well. In fact, when you look at the piriformis muscle, the sciatic nerve actually goes right in between it and it kind of meanders through it. So when you have a weak abdominal core or pelvic muscles um, or you have a tight piriformis, that's actually going to pinch and put pressure on that sciatic nerve. Now as soon as there's pressure on that nerve, that's when you'll have not only the back pain, but you'll have the radiating pain, weakness, tingling, and numbness that travels down all the way possibly into your whole foot. I wanna show you several stretches that you can do to bring relief if you're suffering from sciatic nerve pain. So the first stretch you wanna perform is you're gonna be laying on your back with your knees bent and you wanna start on the side opposite of your sciatic nerve pain. Very simply bring that foot up onto your other leg like you're crossing your legs and then you're gonna pull your knee up towards your chest and towards the opposite shoulder. Again, this is gonna stretch that piriformis muscle on the side opposite of where you're having the pain. Hold that stretch for 30 seconds while you breathe through the stretch. Then return to the starting position and do the opposite side. This will be the side now where you do have the sciatic pain. Again, cross that leg to the opposite thigh, pull that the knee up to the chest and to the opposite shoulder. Again, holding for 30 seconds and breathe through this stretch and then return to starting position. You can repeat this two to three times. While you're on the back, you can do an additional stretch where you will cross your leg and start with the side opposite the pain. But instead of grabbing that knee, you're gonna grab behind the thigh on that leg and you're going to pull and feel that stretch in the piriformis muscle. Again, hold that for 30 seconds, repeat two to three times and you can then switch and do the opposite leg as well. Along with these stretches, you can do trigger point therapy directly to the piriformis muscle and you can simply use a tennis ball. So you'll wanna place the tennis ball in the middle part of the glutes, right where that piriformis muscle is and simply roll that tennis ball around until you feel that trigger point, which is usually uh, an area of pain that you'll feel, pinpoint pain. Once you massage that muscle out, you'll feel that release and you can do that on the opposite side. A good tip is to put the tennis ball in a freezer and get it ice cold before using and that will also help numb the area while you release the trigger point. So finding the imbalance and why you have the pain to begin with will address the cause of your sciatic issue and once you remove the cause, your body will and can heal itself. So looking at the core imbalances, whether it's in the abdomen, the pelvis, or looking at the spine, if there's degeneration, a bulging or a herniated disc, um, instead of just putting a Band-Aid over it, 
um, or resorting to medications or surgery, you want to find the cause of your sciatic issue. So not only can you get out of the pain, but you can prevent it from coming back. So as a corrective care chiropractor, we're going to start with an evaluation, examination, we'll take digital x-rays, so we can look to find that cause of the problem. And then in combination with chiropractic, rehab, stretches, and exercises, not only can we get you out of the pain, but prevent it so you can live your life to the fullest.